Hi, my name is Bella, and the whole world knew me after my boyfriend streamed me doing something so embarrassing. I've played video games for as long as I can remember. I've always loved them, and when I got into college, I started watching people stream online. Now, this was in the early days of streaming, so there weren't a lot of celebrities. But there was one guy that caught my attention. For the sake of remaining anonymous, I'm going to call him Nikki. Now, Nikki was my dream guy. He was goofy, he loved all the same games as me, and honestly, he was handsome as hell. I found myself staying up all night watching all his streams and becoming obsessed with him. I had notifications anytime he was online or anytime he posted anything. I was the first person to respond to every post, every message, every tweet. One day, I realized it had worked. He followed me back and started liking all my photos. We started chatting, and I was trying not to fangirl, but I was really, really in love with him. One night, he invited me on a date. I went over to his house, and we played video games. He even let me be in his stream because he had to work. It was like a dream come true. Within a few months, we were a couple. Nikki was a great boyfriend. We spent a bunch of our time streaming, playing video games, and watching movies. A huge part of his following started following me on social media. Honestly, I felt like a celebrity. I had girls calling me pretty and telling me how lucky I was to be dating him. I was really happy. But soon, things weren't so dreamy. When Christmas came around, Nikki had to stream himself playing all the new games that came out. It wasn't like an hour or two a day. He was streaming for 12, 16, even 24 hours sometimes. I wasn't able to see him. And whenever I tried to talk to him about it, he brushed me off saying he had to work for us. I was working my butt off at my own job, and I still made time for him. So him saying that kind of hurt my feelings. To make me feel better and spend more time together, he offered to have me move in with him. But the day I moved in, I saw a version of Nikki I had never imagined. He was screaming at the camera while I was trying to move my stuff in. I didn't know what was going on, but he sounded like he was going to hurt someone. When I went in to ask if everything was okay, he slammed the door in my face and told me not to unpack my stuff. I was humiliated. What did he mean by that? He wanted me to leave? A few hours later, Nikki came out. He told me a crazy fan had doxxed our address and now the whole world knew where we lived. I was absolutely terrified. Nikki said he'd look for a new place for us to live. But in the meantime, we just have to be really careful. But even being careful wasn't keeping us safe. One night, I was sitting on the couch while Nikki was streaming. He was so obsessed with streaming, I was barely even allowed in the bedroom. But that night, I heard a loud knocking on our balcony door. We were on the second floor. There was a dude standing out there wearing my boyfriend's merch, trying desperately to break in. I ran into the bedroom and told Nikki I needed him, but he just shushed me and put his headphones on. He was so into the stream, he wasn't even listening. I called the police. As soon as they pulled up, the crazy fan was gone. My heart was pounding. Nikki was so obsessed with pleasing his fans and playing his games that he had left me alone to deal with a creepy stalker, and he didn't even know. After the police left, I lost it. I unplugged the computer on Nikki and told him what had happened. I said if he didn't change his behavior, we were over. He apologized sincerely. Gradually, there was a balance between his streaming and his time with me. But that crumbled the second his fans realized he wasn't streaming as much. They blamed it on me. I started opening up my social media 
to find actual death threats. They were sending death threats to me just because I wanted to talk to my own boyfriend. I honestly started to fear for my life. Nikki went back to streaming like usual out of fear that something was going to happen to me or his career. It bothered me, but I was just happy when the hate comments stopped. But then things got even worse. Nikki started doing 24-hour challenges to please his fans. They had asked and even said, well, if your girlfriend lets you, of course he felt like he needed to prove himself to them. He did two 24-hour challenges in a row, and I was scared for him. I was even more scared when I woke up on the couch to him screaming about a fire. He was standing in the middle of the living room in nothing but his boxers, crying his eyes out and trying to pick me up. He was blubbering like a baby. He tried to drag me out onto the balcony, and I refused, pulling him back and telling him he needed to calm down. I locked the door, and I asked where the fire was. He seemed to snap back into reality in that instance, and he had no idea where he was or what he had been talking about. I realized he was so tired that he was delusional. I told him he needed to go lie down, and he did, for a bit. But five hours later, he was up, streaming again. It went on like this for days. He was barely functioning and having paranoid delusions. It all reached its worst point when he left the bathtub running in the bathroom and fell asleep on the floor. I tried to wake him up and managed to help him get into bed. Then I had to clean the massive mess off the floor. Once I drained the tub a little, I decided to take a bath while he slept in our bed. I came into the room in a towel and started to change into my pajamas. And as soon as my clothes were back on, I noticed a blinking red light above the computer. He had been streaming this whole time. My body was all over the internet. I ran over and unplugged everything. But the damage was done. When Nikki woke up 12 hours later, he found me sobbing in bed. The pictures of me changing were all over the internet. I had been trending. My mom and all my friends and coworkers had seen it. Nikki could barely remember anything that had happened. He apologized and wrapped his arms around me, but I was sobbing way too hard. That same afternoon, my job called me and told me I was fired because they couldn't have that negative publicity. It blew my mind that my boyfriend's unhealthy job had cost me my own. With the nude photos of me came more angry messages from his fans. People asked him why I wasn't taking care of Nikki and why I was asking for attention on his stream by making myself the star. I didn't know how to put it in their heads that that was the last thing that I wanted. I lashed out at Nikki, telling him he had ruined my life. Later that afternoon, Nikki pulled me up to the camera. I told him I didn't want to speak to anyone, and he said I didn't have to. He opened up a stream and told everyone that from now on, he would only be streaming twice a week and they were going to have to deal with it. He said his fans and his job were getting in the way of things that really mattered, his health and his relationship with me. With tears in his eyes, he told his fans if they really loved him, they had to love me too, and they had to know this was what was best for Nikki. He begged everyone to stop sharing my pictures and told everyone that their actions were hurting him and myself. After that, he shut off the camera. Nikki kept to his promise. It's been months since then, and he still only streams twice a week. I managed to get a job with a better company, and I'm so much happier. This experience has taught me to speak my mind and be honest with my partner. You need to set limits in your relationships, and 
You need to help protect one another from the world. Did you like this story? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Dear Diary as we post new stories every week.